All right, everyone. Welcome back to JPC Special Talk. It's Chair Campbell. So things are definitely heating up since the last time I just posted my last video. We're going to listen to the rhetoric coming out of NATO now. So NATO is now sparking the flames with Russia, pulling us deeper into World War III. So we're going to sit back. We're going to listen to the rhetoric coming out of NATO and what NATO just said about deep strikes deep into Russian territory. So let me get the screen shared over and we'll start listening to some of those videos. So thank you all again for following. All right, here we go. So right there on your screen, right? So total war, NATO, Russia, NATO pilots of Ukrainian F-16, Stolzenberg said by mistake, permission for deep strike raids inside Russia. Green light from Holland and Denmark. So the Secretary General of NATO, Jen Stolzenberg, is determined to take the situation with Russia to the extreme. After his statements about the operational readiness of NATO's nuclear weapons, he revealed that the pilots of Ukrainian F-16s will be NATO. All right, so let's listen to some of these videos. The fact that they're now delivering F-16s, of course, it will create a future NATO, no, sorry, Ukrainian uh, 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 Air Force that will be NATO interoperable. NATO planes, NATO pilots, uh, NATO trained pilots, uh, and... Uh, and uh, The fact that they're now delivering F-16s, of course, it will create a future NATO, no, sorry, Ukrainian uh, 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 Air Force that will be NATO interoperable. NATO planes, NATO pilots, uh, NATO trained pilots, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, NATO procedures. <coughs> the fact that they're now delivering F-16s, of course, it will create a future NATO, no, sorry, Ukrainian uh, uh, Air Force that will be NATO interoperable. NATO planes, NATO pilots, uh, NATO trained pilots, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, NATO procedures. All right. <coughs> so the United States believes that NATO is the future of Ukraine. First, they need to win the war. So here's a statement from our White House. Security guarantee to prevent it from happening again, that Russia invades again, is Article 5 uh, from NATO. He seemed to be very clear that Ukraine should be admitted into NATO after the current fighting ends. Is that a, is, can you speak to that? Is that a commitment that the U.S. shares, feels that once this, once this current fighting ends, that feels strongly that uh, Ukraine can get into that. The president has said that he believes that NATO is in Ukraine's future. Um, and there's, there's a lot of things that have to be done before they can join the alliance, like any member has to do before they can join the alliance. But the president believes firmly that NATO is in Ukraine's future at some point. But those, those conditions that have been, uh, have been, you know, in somewhat a little bit vague, it's been a very, it has not been a very clear pathway, when would they be able to do uh, the, action, the action plan uh, that they can get on? I'm sorry, I've got to disagree with you there. What it's, not, the, it's, it, it's absolutely clear, and, and, they, and, and the, the alliance, conditions that Ukraine the alliance has talked about, and the United States has certainly talked about, uh, first they've got to win this war. Right? They've they got to win the war first. And so, number one, we're doing everything we can to make sure they can do that. Then when the war's over... <coughs> So that's it, right? So I just wanted to share that really quick article. I'm going to switch back over here for just a second. And I'm just going to let's chat for just a sec before I close out, right? So I'm going to say that once again, I see where the Siberian president is now coming from. When you go back to the one of my videos that I did where the, the Siberian president was speaking how World War III was starting in three to four months, if not sooner, or could take a little longer, and what they were stocking up on his country. And he also had mentioned that neither side is truly seeking peace. 
Now we can see that, right? He was saying that nobody's trying to seek peace, right? Not, not NATO, not Russia, right? They all want this war, right? Both sides are sparking this thing, right? It's not just a one-way street. It's a two-way street, right? Both sides sparking this. All sides have propaganda. We have Russian propaganda. We have NATO propaganda. We have Western media propaganda, our mainstream media here in the U.S., all the propaganda, all the stuff that we've been fed and the things that we have been fed for the last four or five years, right? What's happening is that NATO is aggressively seeking Russia now, right? So it's starting to look as if NATO does indeed want to invade Russia and indeed, in fact, we're breaking up in five parts. Russia, on the other hand, doesn't want NATO in its backyard, so it invaded Ukraine, right? So we see things falling in place. Russia is now in our backyard. They were just in Cuba, right? Think about it. They sent warships to Cuba. They're now playing the same game that we've been playing through NATO. We've been setting up in the Russians' backyard. Now the Russians are going to be setting up in our backyard, right? How long do you think this is going to go on? Let's make this quick, right? At some point, it's going to cook off, right? You don't need a whole bunch of commentary to figure out what is about to happen, right? Everyone has been getting ready, right? Been getting in place. All these exercises we've been seeing are just not drills for training, like regular training. It's been preparing for World War III. So there's been World War III preparation, right? So we're getting ready for World War III. That's what's happening. The mainstream media will not focus on it. Okay? Their job is to keep you distracted. Their job is to keep you worrying about things that don't even matter. All while inflation continues to go up. You can barely afford to feed your families. Everything's going up. Your paycheck's staying the same. But they tell you everything is okay. right? Everything is going to be okay. All while World War III is setting up, cooking off but nobody in America really knows what's going on or is even paying attention because here in America, we have this issue of thinking everything's going to be okay. Nothing bad can happen. Right. I'm going to keep uploading videos, right? Like I, like I, when I can to keep you all informed, right? I wanted you all to see NATO's rhetoric, right? So pay attention to NATO's rhetoric. That's the, the one reason why I play videos. And so I want you all to pay attention to people's body language, right? It's better than listening to a commentary or just summaries of an article or sometimes listening to somebody read an article. By watching videos, you see people's body language. You look at their body language and you can read them to find out what is really going on because body language does not lie to you, right? Commentary, summaries, things like that will lie to you, but body language will not lie to you. Okay, you watch how they all react, whether you're watching Putin to Jen Stolzenberg, to people from our own government or White House, watch their body language, pay attention to it, okay? That's all I have to say. Get ready, get prepared, right? It's coming to my doorstep. It's coming to your doorstep at some point. It's going to be all over the world, right? No matter how it comes, it's coming. We must be ready, right? Thank you all again. I love you all so much. I'm out.